While being deaf in a hearing world is a challenge, it is even harder while looking for employment but at Parlet Cafe, they have nulled out the stereotype and given deaf individuals an opportunity to earn themselves a living. A first glance into the busy restaurant cannot suggest that the serving waiters have a disability until when needed to talk. A startling moment to the customer before making an order. But to Susan Watkins, the operations manager at Parlet Cafe, the journey that commenced in 2019 has held forth and with a dream to dare big, she tells of the fruits yielded up to now. We opened on the 20th of January 2019. So we are going to three years. I can proudly say and yeah, we are doing okay. In total we have about 50 and 14 of them are hearing impaired. She says starting the business was trained by lots of challenges, majorly facing the communication barrier between her and the employees. There's sometimes miscommunication, like someone might try to sign. You know sign language, a slight difference will mean something else. So we have a few mishaps, but the customers are very understanding. So it always works out at the end and I'm always there at hand. Uh, as for other business people, we would, I would urge them to take the, everybody on because what you can do they can do and they are very very keen there is nothing that they are not able to do just give them the chance that's all they need a chance that's all she is confident service delivery in the restaurant has been chiseled to precision with or without supervision aiding the skills they have acquired to be satisfactory to attest to her words, here you see a waiter taking an order and I wanted to see if they will deliver as per what the customer has ordered. True to manager Susan's words, the meal is delivered without the need of an oral task. The customers have been awesome, I must say. We are grateful to them for all the support they've given us, the understanding they've had. Even in, when things happen, they do understand and they take it positively and they have really, really supported us. So it's, it's been a good ride. Edward Gitao, the assistant director at Pilot Cafe, is partially deaf and this is where he derived immense passion for his work. When speaking to him, he chose to drop his proficiency in using sign language and preferred to speak despite his challenge in eloquence. Because I can't talk, and that's all to me that I can hear. Yeah. So, that is I give him. A long time ago, I was hearing, I was hearing, I was able to hear anything, I was able to make phone calls, yeah, everything, I was able to do just like how normal people normally do. So, with that, I yeah, don't need the two one possession virus, that is how I lost my hearing, but when I lost my hearing, I was afraid whether I, I mean, it was my speaking as well, but my dad told me you don't have to worry anymore. So for now, just because we are here, not ranking properly, so how to use your eyes? So I said, how? Because I'm not able to do that, but you can. I said, okay. So with the time, he taught me how to do the readings. I was able to do that. I was able to communicate with people, neighborhood, going to town, watching movies, whatever. I was able to communicate with them. It is through the fanatical support that he has from his bosses that boosted his skills and confidence in his godly found workplace. When you get a, a job from a different company, everybody in his mind have to do whether this job will trust me or not, I will get fired or not. People know my doubt, right? I was just like that. So I was doubting myself. But my boss trusted me. I was not sure. Mm. One day, one time, there was a book in the outside group. Yeah. And I saw them where they were happy. And when they left, they commented to us very much. My boss still was observant. I was, not, I was not sure why he was keeping up with seven, up seven all the time. I was not sure about that. But with the time, I came to understand that he, that he is trying to win my trust. 
so I gave up. I started trusting him. With that, every time he say, leave this, come this side, leave that, come this side, this is all about growth. There are people who need my position very much over here, but they are, they are not able to reach that. This is all about growth. That is how I came to a state manager's position. Speaking to a chef working at Pilot Cafe, Getting employed was a game changer for him, saying he was challenged to learn a foreign skill, an experience he thrills over upon recollection. Edward recommended him for the job despite his inefficiency in working as a chef. Uh, a long time ago, he's a former NYS service. He's a former National Health Service, right? And the way he joined the company, I called him, I called him and when he came to the company, he was not good with professional cook and he was working as a steward, I gave him that position. And over time, I told him to talk to observe the kitchen, how they are doing things, right? And so with the time, he started to learn about the kitchen. He knew about this, he knew about this, and he was good. His skills were perfect. So with that, I talked with my boss about it. I told him that this guy is really perfect on his job. So we have to promote him from the end to kitchen. And he came to the kitchen. Right now he is from the kitchen assistant to chef. Edward is among those who map the restaurant on the most dazzling eating joints in Nairobi and he believes that those with disabilities, especially the deaf, should dare to be brave and gallantly believe in themselves. He encourages them to learn the sign language and the needed skills. During all those years, I was just saying like that, speaking, doing a play, speaking, doing a play, doing a play, but I was perfect, I accepted myself. When I accepted myself, I was able to move forward because acceptance is the key. So I was able to do everything, I was able to communicate with normal people and I was not afraid of anyone. So I was okay. Despite the society being harsh to people with disabilities, Susan has invited them away from the silent world and encourages them to brave criticism. For her, the sky is the limit and is eyeing to grow the business and open the opportunity door to many others who have disabilities and yearn to prove that it is not an inability. When you talk of all inclusive, we forget that they can, they also need to live a life. They also need to to have a life, to get married, to get kids. And if you don't empower them, they cannot do all this. So you give them a job, they can do all this. We are looking at employing as many of them as we can. We want to empower as many of them as is possible. Moses Kinyanjui, Citizen Digital.